could the crew of the Destiny have been saved by a BC-304 travelling at hyperspace? Oh, I'm going to have to do some math. Welcome to Sci-Trek, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So I googled this question just out of interest and I got lots of different answers. People have been trying to figure this out for a little while. Some people say it could take only 90 days for a BC-304 traveling in hyperspace to actually go and get the crew of the Destiny. So a rescue mission, very possible. Other people have said it could take 8,000 years. But I've taken a few bits of information that we know from canon and tried to figure out an absolute minimum that it actually would have taken for a BC-304 like the Daedalus to go and save the crew of the Destiny. So first of all, we have to remember that the Destiny was much, much slower than anything the Daedalus could do. Um, it did travel at light speed, but this vessel was 50 million years old. It was built well before the city ships of like the Atlantis. It was built quite early in the age. It was built, for example, much earlier than the city ships like Atlantis. They could travel at a significant light speed. And Rush actually did say in SGU that the Destiny travelled several billion light years from home. So that would require over 50 million years for it to be travelling at a little bit of a factor above that of light speed, say 10 times light speed or something like that. However, the BC-304 had Asgard hyperdrive technology. Now that is significantly faster than light speed. So for example, the one thing that we do know is that a BC-304 traveled from Earth to the Pegasus galaxy to Atlantis in 18 days. So that gives us a starting point to try to figure out exactly how fast that vessel was actually traveling. And again, this is very rough and it's an absolute minimum. But there is a real Pegasus galaxy. It is roughly 3 million light years from Earth. So 3 million divided by 18 is 166.6 light years a day. Or divide that by 24 and we get 6.9 million light years an hour. So we roughly believe that the Daedalus can travel at that 6.9 million light years an hour speed. So how far away was the destiny? Well, several billion could be quite a few different things, but let's assume it's the absolute minimum that Rush could have meant by several. That would be three. So three billion light years away. So we take the three billion light years, three billion with nine zeros, divide it by 6,900, which is how many light years an hour the um, Daedalus can do. That gives us 43,478 hours. We divide that by 24 to get us 1,811 days. Divide that by four again to give us 4.9 years. So at an absolute minimum, if the destiny is only 3 billion light years away, it would take at least 4.9 years for the deadless to reach it. Now that's assuming we know exactly where the destiny is and they don't have to search for it. That's assuming that this vessel, the BC-304, can actually travel in hyperspace without stopping, which it can't. So we're assuming the Destiny is the absolute minimum distance, that they don't have to look for it, and the Daedalus doesn't have to stop. And it would still take 4.9 years to get there. So a 10-year round trip to save the crew of the Destiny. Now, we also think that the BC-304 could potentially tow the Destiny but is it worth trying to actually rescue the technology? I would argue not. The Atlantis is a far more advanced vessel than the Destiny was. So from a technological point of view, it would be interesting to an archaeologist. Is it funny to consider that an archaeologist would be looking at the Destiny interested? That it's a technology that's still way more advanced than we are today. But actually for SG-1, it would be dated. However, the information aboard the Destiny would be interesting. So a crew could, within the Destiny, go to the Destiny, download some information, scan the Destiny, etc., etc., pick up the crew and come back. But that mission would take a minimum of 10 years. 
Now, several can mean anything. Imagine, actually, that when Rush said several, he actually meant, say, six billion. Well, in that case, we're talking about a 10-year trip and a 10-year trip back. So 20 years to go and save the crew of the Destiny. Now, I'm sorry, a five-year trip would not be considered, I think, a viable mission plan. Ten years, not a chance. And then, like we say, that is an absolute minimum based on many assumptions that, to be honest, are going to be lowball. So could a BC-304 go and save the crew of the Destiny? Not a chance. It's physically possible, but no way. Who's going to give up 20 years of their life to go on that mission? You could maybe send it automated, but then you've got to find them. So again, not likely. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Is my math any good? Because math is not my best subject. I'm not great at it. I've tried to keep this as simple as possible because I know I'm not very good at it. But what do you think? Am I way off with any of my estimations? I think I've lowballed this, but you guys tell me. I might have made horrific mistakes here. Get into the comments and explain it to me if I did. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where you get to see most of our videos first. And for a small contribution each month that really helps the channel out and does mostly go directly to me and the channel, you can see it without the adverts. As always, guys, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.